one of the most important uh, Buddhist uh, understanding of the nature of uh, the reality uh, is three words impermanence interdependence and shunyata or sometimes translated as emptiness and I think these are very closely uh, linked and one leads to the another the first is about the impermanence which is actually obvious that we can all see that things change uh, everybody becomes old and uh, finally uh, pass away uh, there's nothing in this world or anywhere else that doesn't change and decay now the main understanding is that how quickly things change uh, now this is when we look into the nature of anything that's existing uh, we know that things change but when does the things change uh, when we look deeply uh, it doesn't change only once a day or once a year or once a month or once a moment actually we find that there is no moment when things do not change because uh, everything is actually uh, you know existing uh, not independently but dependently on everything on lots of things and so therefore you know there's no real one thing that is totally independent and everything is interdependently existing relatively existing that's why you know we talk about the understanding of interdependent uh, everything is affecting everything everything that we look as one is not one but uh, many things that's you know uh, that's there and many things there's no one thing in many things because each 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 one you look at that that's also made of many causes and many conditions and many ingredients and things like that so therefore there is nothing which is not interdependent so when you look into this which is impermanent and interdependent and very very relative that's the way everything is there's no real time when anything is existing on its own independently without affected by anything or affecting anything so therefore everything is in a way like a flow uh, there's no one time that you can say this is now only existing and not changing and not affecting others or not being affected by others so therefore if you look deeply in that that way or that that state then you find that there is actually nothing that exists remains independently on its own and there's nothing called really only one thing and this understanding is what we call the understanding or philosophy or the view of emptiness and so therefore everything that is there emptiness is not to say that there is nothing existing or there is nothing there it's about how all these things that we see around everything that including myself the whole phenomena uh, really exists in its way in its natural way uh, the way the things really exist is dependently existing impermanently existing and there is no one true you know uh, real independent thing there 
So therefore, in a way, it is existing in an unreal uh, way, and that is what we call the emptiness nature of things. So therefore, because of this, everything can change, everything can transform, everything can impact each other, because everything is always changing, like this flower, the flowers can, you know, can, can grow, can uh, bloom, transform, different things can happen, all the chemistry can happen, there's nothing which cannot happen, because in truth there is no true one thing there existing on its own. And that, that is the way everything is, including myself, including everything else. And that's the nature of the way things are. And that understanding is called the philosophy or the view of uh, interdependence, emptiness, and also impermanence.